Hello guys and welcome to the Maldives. So we just checked in at Comrade Resorts. We are spending the first two nights in a beach bungalow. I've been to the Maldives a few times before and beach bungalows aren't my favourite. This is obviously beautiful but once you say no more to Villa, I personally think more to Villa is the best. So I'm going to take you guys along with us, I'll give you a quick room tour and then obviously we'll show you the water villa as well in the next few days, wearing a swimsuit, um, but yeah, so we just got off a 10 hour flight um, and then we got a seaplane over, but it's meant to be one of the most beautiful resorts, so let me quickly show you this room. So this is the beautiful bathroom, also tall, I've got all my travel minis, minis that I got from World Beauty 3, all my Lama, and then outside is definitely the best part of this room. So you've got your outdoor shower, which I cannot wait to go in. And then you've got this amazing bathtub, which I'm sure will be just incredible. So this is the hut. Well, it's not really a hut, it's more of a house. And then, I just love how glassy it all is. That me. Hello. And you've got like a storage room. This is beautiful. This is like the lounge area. And that's what ends with. And then you go out here. And you go through here. We both got a pair of new sunglasses each from World Duty Free in Gatwick Airport. Oh no, yeah, and Matt went for these ones, so. There for you, and these are for me. So we're just heading for some lunch now. I feel so much better than I've actually brushed my teeth and freshened up. So we found the famous tree, but there's a big sign saying no climbing. I thought it was for my safety, but as Matt said, it's actually probably for the tree's safety, because um, obviously it's a beautiful tree, and we don't want to ruin nature, but that's a shame, but it's really beautiful. We're just getting our bearings and exploring the resort after lunch. Gorgeous are these restaurants in metal huts. This is the underwater restaurant, we are going there soon. We're just making friends with sharks, fish, and Matt has a new girlfriend, a new bird. <laughs> It's bath time, we're gonna get ready for dinner and we are going to go in this amazing bath that is in our room, it's incredible. We are going for dinner now, I think we're going for lobster tonight. I'm so excited, I love lobster, already made such a mess because I absolutely love beauty. I'm wearing this dress, if you watch my Grenada vlog, you'll know that I'm recycling this dress. So we both just had a little bit of a nap. I've been sat in loads of work, had the most amazing bath, and now we are just gonna go for dinner. It's my favorite time of day. It's breakfast time. I'm so hungry. Place 
So I had an incredible massage this morning. It was a coconut body scrub with head massage. Does anyone else love head massages? Because, oh my God, I just want people to play with my hair all the time. Oh, let's not get run over. Um, so I just washed my hair to wash the coconut oil out. And we basically had coconut sticks and she was like playing with my body. And the shot you just saw was the amazing hut where I had my massage. Matt got left out because Matt never gets massages. I do though. So we're just heading to do a cooking class now. So, are you feeling excited? I am excited. Dumplings and I don't know, like bayo buns, is it? Yeah, but I don't it? actually like dumplings. You do? No, unless I like gyozas. I don't yeah. like them with like mincemeat and I like like vegetable oh, dumplings. I, I like dumplings. Oh look, like we're them. both twinning in our new World Duty Free sunglasses. Mine, mine are better than this. Hey, yours are actually really cool. I'm going to steal them. I'll wear those ones tomorrow. So yeah, let's go cook. So the cooking class was really good. The chef was incredible. It was just myself and Matt um, when we did it together. And we made dim sum and we made noodles. We basically just learned how to make everything. So we're gonna try and make that back at home. Swimming costume now on. Ooh, boob out. Swimming costume now on. And um, we are gonna go and have a paddle in the sea now. So going in the sea was amazing, although I think I might be allergic to it, I could be completely wrong here, but I was like laid in the sea, and I don't know if it's the sand, all the back of my legs is really itchy and really red. Can you be allergic to the ocean, or did I just get cut by the rocks and then the ice, on then the ice, um, and then the sea, the salt from the sea going down, I have no idea. Anyway, I keep getting really confused because the time zone of Comrade is different to the whole of the Maldives, they're an extra hour ahead. So my phone will not change to that time zone and when I change my phone to normal time, like manually it messes my whole phone up. So I'm really late. I have I thought we had dinner at 7.30 but we actually have drinks. My phone obviously goes 6.30. Sorry, it's 6. We have drinks first and I didn't realise so I'm running. I'm leaving Matt because Matt has a really important project that he's launching tonight. So I'm going to run for some drinks and then Matt is going to come and meet me. These are everywhere. It's literally... Adorable. The bar and I have a whole healthy menu put together by Grant Collins and Jessica's Jessica's Sapel, I think that's how you pronounce it. And these this is like wellness cocktails. Look how incredible this is. So you've got cacao nib infused dark rum. Oh my goodness, Matt's gonna be so upset that he missed this because he loves healthy drinks. Spiced rum and avocado and almond milk with cinnamon, and you can click and you get I hope this works now I've just said it, you get a picture of the cocktails. How amazing is that? And this is the view. Good morning guys, I am mascara We have literally had two hours sleep because Matt launched his clothing range last night for a menswear. So, so, so proud and so excited for him. Been like years in the making and um, we're very tired. We are now up, it's 6 a.m. Well, it's actually before 6 a.m. And we are heading on a sunset boat tour. I'm really not good at early mornings, particularly on two hours sleep. So let's go and see how beautiful this looks. You better listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I want to do? I love that the boys are just relaxing. <laughs> so, how did you find the boat trip? 
It was good actually. It was so beautiful, definitely worth the early start. I think if I go to bed earlier, I'll be better for early starts. I actually love embracing the world and getting up early. So we're just gonna go for a little dip in the pool because it's so empty and it's the most beautiful infinity pool you have ever seen. So we're on this trip with a few other people. James, Angela and Sabrina and it's just so nice to like sit and chat with like-minded people so I'm really, I think it's a really good group. People are just so lovely. I really appreciate nice people. So the sunrise was absolutely incredible. Literally the dream, stone on mats, Rayban. Um, actually incredible, like Oh my goodness, so, so, so beautiful. Although I am feeling a little worse for wear now, I feel like I'm just so exhausted, it actually hurts, Matt's in bed. Um, and I just had an hour nap, and now we have a cooking class, but I couldn't miss it because it's with a nutritionist, and it's all about well-being and health. Although it feels kind of wrong to be going to it because my well-being and health is not good right now because I'm so exhausted, I just, I need to sleep for eight hours just because we only had two hours sleep last night. I hate to moan, but we just didn't have any sleep. And I'm really not very good without sleep. Um, I'm in the most beautiful place in the world, but sleep is very, very, very important for everything, for your mind, for your body, and it can lead to lots of dreadful things as I've learned this year if you don't get enough of it. So I'm feeling a bit stressed that I've not had enough sleep. I'm gonna power through and then have a nap after this cooking class. So I'm super excited to go and have this nutritional lesson. I'm sure I've got lots of questions to ask her. This is a cleansing green yeah, detox like, soup. Like a green soup, part of the menu, so there's just broccoli, spinach, kale, zucchini. Listen to your heart beat. 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 This is a healthy cauliflower rice, kind of Thai style, with a healthy Japanese teriyaki sauce, with some bok choy, some kale. It is so easy to make, literally 10 minutes, and it tastes so good. So we finally checked in to our overwater villa. The Maldives is one of those places where people love overwater villas but people also love beach bungalows and it's good to be able to kind of try both out. I know that I'm um, a over the water kind of gal but I don't know, it depends what you guys like. It's easier to get around if you're on a beach because you can actually walk everywhere whereas here you're like on a bridge so it's quite far but it's beautiful so I'll give you a little tour. So we're on the other side of the island. It is time to explore. These are also sunglasses from World Duty Free, by the way. Love these ones, me and Matt couldn't choose. So we bought both pairs, <laughs> twinning. Um, but yeah, so we are on the other side of the island. We're gonna go find the guys, because I think everyone's got drones out. We're having a bit of a drone party. Are we having a drone party? Yeah. Me and James are trying to get the famous tree Instagram. But um, the problem is we've got an audience. So James is going to go up first, basically. Mm -hmm. That's I'll Tina. Best shot. Don't fall. <laughs> good night. <laughs> this, is, this is a good picture in itself. <laughs> <laughs> an epic fail which is why we are now sat waiting for gin and tonics because I'm good at exercising and that was seriously intense I mean James absolutely nailed it I, I don't know if his Instagram picture of it will be live when this video goes live but if it is I'm gonna insert a picture here and I'll put his handle so you can follow him because his imagery is amazing but you can see his shot and then I'll put mine here so you can see mine in comparison I basically didn't dare even go with the tree because it was actually really difficult but yeah James nailed it so we are just sat having a drink at the, is it called the Wrangley Bar? Yeah. Wrangley Bar? We sat at the Wrangley Bar and yeah, basically the guy saw me struggling to grab the olives and he brought me over my own plate of olives. I hope I'm in focus, hello. Um, focus me. So he brought me over my own tray of olives and nuts, which is just exceptional service. So very impressed. So we're just watching the sunset. We are heading out for dinner. I'm wearing this jumpsuit, which makes me look horrendously flat-chested. I've had so many questions about it, so I will link it below. Um, we're having a Maldivian feast tonight. You excited to eat? I am indeed. Excited! <laughs> Matt got dressed. 
Moldy's doll from Moldy's party, yeah. Share was your fish. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, that's it. Now show them my headband. It's quite, it's quite heavy, this though. What, your hat's heavy, <laughs> yeah. not the camera. And I got the female headband. And then we're going to eat dark like, yeah. first. So, I've had a bit of a disaster of a morning. Um, one of the girls on the trip wanted to go out um, on a boat trip, so we all went because it's like a group trip. And I kind of said I didn't want to go because I just I get horrendous travel sickness. And it was like a five hour trip. So I basically sat very tearful on a boat for four or five hours whilst not feeling my best. I, I, it's one of those things I don't want to sound ungrateful and I don't want to sound like I'm moaning. But when you're ill and when you feel sick, you, it's just I just felt really awkward and really like I should I don't know I, I hate being ill in front of strangers. You just feel really rude and uncomfortable. And it's one of those things like. No matter where you are in the world, if you don't feel well, then it's not I'm grateful. I wish I, like, it, we're in the most beautiful place, and I was just so upset because it felt so horrendously ill. But I'm going to insert some clips of the amazing whales that we saw because when I did manage to stand up, and before I cracked my head on the boat, um, I managed to stand up for a bit and capture some shots, but then I feel really sick when I stand up on the boat, so I'm going to show you these now. So it's amazing. Um, and then we had an amazing picnic. Um, on a little deserted island and the staff at Comrade was so lovely um, but yeah I just don't think boat trips are for me anymore I just felt horrendous so um, I feel like I kind of wasted like five hours which is quite sad because I'm very into like using my time productively so I'm actually just going to go and sit in the pool for like 10 minutes now and just to try and relax and feel better. We're trying to not kill the crabs as we walk down the stairs. <sighs> the main has been tamed. We are just quickly running to grab the sunset. So we are just gonna have a little sunset swim from our beautiful pool in the comrades so comrades like hashtag is stay inspired and this really inspires me just kind of like sitting out looking at the sunset match just talking to the housekeeper this is like the most beautiful sunset ever which is possibly my favourite jumpsuit to ever exist. We are going for dinner tonight at the place where we learnt to cook um, the one like the dim dumplings and stuff and it's the best food ever so I'm so excited. <laughs> breakfast and if you read my blog you know my rule is to never ever ever skip breakfast oh we are moving um but sometimes you need to sleep so we need to sleep um i'm just so tired this whole trip so we are heading to the underwater restaurant now which i am so excited about um i think we've just got a bit of a traffic jam but yeah comrade hotel has the underwater restaurant that you've probably seen absolutely everywhere on social media um so we're gonna go check it out i'm so
Guy is just cleaning the tank. Casual. So the underwater restaurant was absolutely incredible. I'm sorry if the sound keeps getting weird on this video. This is my new G7S and for some weird reason, on some clips it sounds weird and like the sounds really muffled and I have no idea why. So we're just heading for some lunch now in the overwater kind of like pool bit. Um, I'm gonna have a nice healthy lunch because they have a nice special healthy menu, the menu that we cooked with Jessica, the nutritionist, so that's really exciting. Oh goodness, I've gone really dark. But yeah, we're gonna go and have some lunch now. So, lunch was really good, although I'm still really hungry because I like a lot of food. I had starch on a main, but they were quite small. I've been so healthy here. I think that's one of the best things about Comrade. It's so easy to be healthy. There's no fries. There is one pizza, but I didn't have it. And um, oh my goodness, seriously. Sorry if I've got cream over. I've just creamed myself up. And um, so easy to be healthy here. So the nutritionist has her own menu. And then Comrade actually have a menu that's like earth, earth, air, wind, fire, and like fire is detoxifying. One of them's energizing. It is incredible. I have never, ever, ever stayed at a hotel like that. And it makes me want to come back and do it as like a real fitness retreat and kind of come back, talk to, them, talk to them about what I want all my meals to be, make sure I do yoga every single day, get a personal trainer every day. So I'm definitely gonna look into that. I hope it is something that they offer in the future. Kind of doing like more of it as a fitness and health retreat because I would be so down for that. So yeah, the food was just delicious and the healthy options are epic. And obviously you get to sit in the most beautiful setting while you're having it. Oh, and the canapes and the champagne we had this morning morning for our underwater kind of experience in the restaurant was just phenomenal that is such a beautiful place so i'm all creamed up this holiday i've been using vici um anti-sand milk i've also been using darfon because darfon darfin however you want to pronounce it is one of the best brands of skincare and this is just their sun protective cream it's super high great in uva and uvb and it's spf 30 and um, then this is their face one and i'm literally so sweaty today so all the shore no i'm just like very sweaty so we are about to go snorkeling we just picked up some snorkeling stuff i didn't bring my gopro we do have a gopro at the second hotel we're going to after this so probably won't be able to show you me going snorkeling maybe i'll try film a little bit of it so let's snorkel Sunglasses. I just wanted to show you guys this sunset one last time because it is so incredibly beautiful. We're just getting ready for dinner. And my only issue is every time I've tried to show you guys the dinners, it's been the most beautiful setting, but it's been pitch black and it just looks horrendous on camera. Um, which is why I've not shown you much of the dinners, but I'll write about them in a blog post. So like, I just don't really have any good pictures. It's so annoying. Like the Maldives is so beautiful, but in terms of capturing content on an evening at beautiful restaurants, it's just too dark. Anyway. Let's look at the sunset before dinner. Ready for dinner. I decided not to go with the dress um, and I'm wearing this jumpsuit instead. So I'm just finishing the vlog off here. We sat, it's so difficult because it was really dark, but we sat in the most beautiful like restaurant that was kind of like a dip in the sand. I wish I could show you, it was really dark. It was just stunning, absolutely divine. And we had an amazing taste of course. How many courses did we have? 10. 10, Ten courses, cut by the most amazing chefs. So many hotels, hotels? So many restaurants at Comrade have won like awards as like best best restaurant and stuff. You need to research them because they're really, really good. Um, but I'm gonna do a blog post about this hotel because I'm sure people will ask. We are heading to another island in the morning, so I'm gonna love you guys and leave you. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Everything will be linked below as always. But Comrade, we've literally had the best time. Went snorkeling today, it felt like a dream to actually relax and just enjoy. And the rooms have been amazing. The service has just been absolutely amazing. I can't fault anything. So re really, really had an amazing time. So yeah, watch out for the blog featuring more very soon. Um, and don't forget to follow on Instagram if you're not already at mshellx for more Maldives updates. See you later.